So my name is Jeff Brown with Griot's Garage. We're here to talk about the best of show system creams. As a detailer, having done it for 25 plus years, uh, I've, I've come to appreciate some characteristics and products. I'm sure you have your favorites too. Uh, some of the things over the years that I, I, I like, particularly with orbital polishes or products that I'm using with a, an orbital is, is products that, are, that have good long working times or buffing cycles, some people refer to it as. Uh, that just requires less product, less going back and forth to the bottle. Uh, it's actually less, less expensive. So uh, buffing cycles, long, long working times. I appreciate products that have sustained cutting power, that, that continually cut and remove defects throughout your working panel, your working zone. They don't just start here, work fantastic and progressively diminish down to nothing and, and become ineffective. Uh, another benefit or another thing that I appreciate is products that, that leave no dust and, and are clean, easy cleanup. And, uh, and so the benefit to working at Griot's Garage is that we've invested pretty significantly in a state-of-the-art R&D center in Indy, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, where our DC and production facility are at. And got some talented chemists and then our development team where we, we basically built products from scratch for the best of show system. Just write down on paper, here's what we want. And, and we just, we went through with this system, it took 18 months to develop and we've developed, I, uh, I lost count after 120 formulas. Imagine that, 120 plus formulas to develop four products. That's what goes into product development. It's, it's a, tedious, long process, but that's what we're willing to do for you. We're willing to take it to the next level because we're driven to perfection. So let's take a look at the Boss Correcting products. We've got two products. We've got the Fast Correcting Cream, which is the most aggressive in the system, yet it leaves an incredible final finish. You've got the correct, that's, by the way, that'll go after moderate to severe defects, even on a, on a real hard clear, like on this Porsche. The uh, Correcting Cream, this one, we really focused on its ability to finish out. This, this stuff is incredible. It will it'll finish out, and I know it's hard to believe, but I, I truly believe LSP ready. I mean, it's 95% to perfection in one liquid. And why is that? It's because of the submicron abrasives that we use. Uh, submicron is, is so small, it's just hard to even put a picture to it, but imagine a water hose being like the size of your hair. Uh, and a pencil tip being a, sub, a micron. That's basically, to put it into perspective, what we're looking at. So in order to achieve cutting power, you just, you just increase the load. The more percentage of abrasive, the more cut you get. So I can't tell you exactly how much abrasive are in these, but I can say they're, you know, you can look on the SDS sheet, they're anywhere from 15 to 20%. Uh, that's, and that's why the products are a little bit more because those abrasives are very high end and, and refined. But the benefit to you is when you're done with this panel, there's le limited work that you have to do to get it ready for, for perfection. So that's the correcting cream. Uh, the entire Boss system utilizes submicron abrasives, by the way. The perfecting cream, this formula is, just, is lights out. It combines submicron abrasives at a lower load but a lot of rich polishing oils that just really enhance the gloss and the depth of color. And, and, and another thing that I guess I really appreciate is a product that doesn't hide defects. How many times have you polished a car and you, you pull it in the sun and you're just like, God, it doesn't even look like I polished it. What, why did I just spend the last five, six, seven, eight hours on that? And that's a little tip that most of you probably do. Sometimes we're impatient, but always test your procedure, by the way, before you work around the rest of the car. Don't just assume that, hey, it worked on the last 10 cars I used. It's gonna work on this too. That's not the case. You gotta be able to let the paint speak to you and tell you what it needs. Because every, as you know, every paint finish uh, from this car to the next one down the line, they can vary in, in how they respond to products. So. Perfecting cream, excellent second step for the correcting products, but also one of those very capable products. You just simply, 
it, if you want to increase the aggressiveness of it, bump it up with a more aggressive pad. Uh, just real quick, as you can see, you've got yellow uh, for perfecting cream. If you look at the rest of the products, you've got white for fast, uh, orange for correcting, and black for, for finishing sealant. And that's to correspond with the pads. It's just a starting point. It doesn't, doesn't mean that that's your, your, your go-to 100% of the time. There's so much flexibility with this system. Uh, you can use virtually any pad with any product. It just really depends on how the paint's responding to it. So, and then last but not least, you have finishing sealant. And this is a trick product. It's an all-in-one, but what it, it uses is true submicron abrasives that uh, are capable of removing defects permanently, but also includes polymers and waxes to give you some durable protection. So for those cars that you, you're maybe not uh, getting rewarded for a, a, a great investment of time. This is this is a good all-in-one one step get it done out the door uh, but also an incredible product for uh, Using as your LSP to deliver perfection. So four liquids, you know, we tried to we made them real pleasant to use too That'll be a little secret or a little surprise for you once you use them But uh, let's take a look at how this how this paint responds to Let's go least aggressive or least invasive method with perfecting cream and then a white uh, fast correcting pad and take a look at how it removes this control defect. Believe it or not, I threw a 3000 grit mark into this panel just to really show you uh, the product's capability. So let's take a look at that, all right? So we assessed the surface on this Porsche and we, we identified an area where at the factory they had uh, attempted to remove a dirt nib and had left some, some long throw orbital, uh, well, essentially sanding marks that they didn't completely remove. And so we just, we evened out this panel uh, with some 3000 grit. And we're gonna, we're gonna approach that with a pad again that they use commonly at the OEMs. Uh, we're gonna combine that with the fast correcting cream and just know that to save time, uh, I, I pre-tested my procedure, and this is working exceptional. One other note is, uh, again, we have the Boss G15, 15 millimeter orbit, and we have the Boss G21. Uh, in this particular situation, I've, I've set the Boss G21 up with the five inch, which is the most aggressive or most effective way to, to remove this mark uh, on this hard high solids clear. And we also installed the washer modification to induce pad rotation. So I'm gonna get real advanced paint correction. Remember, this is really for professionals uh, or very, very uh, experienced enthusiasts. So to start off, I just like to kind of secure the pad, take the, the fast correcting cream, and again, prime the pad. Uh, with our domed cap, you'll notice that it's a real convenient uh, approach. You just kind of work it in from the center out and initially, it's, just, it's important to, to butter the entire pad face and just lubricate all those cells on this pad to ensure uh, an adequate cutting. So now, the one thing with these Euro pads, I'll just say, is that they, they, when they're brand new, they tend to just do a light splatter. So it's important to obviously protect uh, a cloth canvas convertible top. And then also uh, with a long throw orbital, particularly with the 21, it's super important to protect adjacent panels, plastic trim, uh, because again, 21 millimeters, it, has a, it could have a potential to bump into adjacent areas. So it's important to just take that time. It takes a minute or two extra to protect those adjacent panels. So we'll start off again with the variable throttle. I'm just gonna spread the product just real evenly across that panel. Speed-wise, I'm going to crank it up to around five. You can see the pad rotation. You can hear the torque, the 900 watts. Got my mid grip. Slow arm speed. Work, work the surface like maybe three to four passes. 
And you'll notice that the, the emulsion that carries that abrasive, the submicron abrasive we mentioned earlier, has a long working cycle. So you can really get it done without having to go back to the well and grab more product. So the Boss creams, we really focused on easy wipe off, a couple passes, you're not having to struggle, easy cleanup, and again, what you see is what you get. We could take a, a product that strips polishes and waxes that tend to fill, which these do not, with, with something like Griot's Garage Pre-Wax Cleanser. This will actually strip anything that's filling those those defects that may or may not be there. Um, beware that some products, as you know, you go over it, you think it looks good, and it's not. So let's just take pre-wax cleanser, give it a quick wipe down, and again, what you see is what you get. Fast wipe off, it's just a really good gut check. Uh, that right there was the G21 fast correcting pad fast correcting cream, washer modification, speed setting five. So okay, we just sit, hit this with fast correcting cream. And uh, you know, as we, we checked our procedure earlier, but just to double check, I'm gonna take a 500 lumen uh, LED flashlight that we offer. Just take a quick peek at it. You probably can't see this on camera, but uh, if I were to say that 100% is perfection, Concours ready, uh, yeah, this would probably be around 91 to 92 uh, percent. It just leaves a really fine finish. On this particular finish, there's just a, just a light uh, imperfection that we're going to refine with one more step. So let's take a look at that. We've got uh, finishing sealant. This, this car, we're going to do a two-step procedure. And uh, we're going to prime our pad or, or butter the pad face. And again, uh, just give a good uh, thorough coverage on the surface. And our goal here is to correct what little imperfections are left and leave a durable wax and polymer finish. Uh, before I start working the surface, I wanna kinda adjust my tool. I'm gonna tone it down a notch by hitting it around three to four. I'll probably start off with three and a half. I'm going to work the panel with uh, an even spread of product with my variable trigger. And then I'm going to start to work it with uh, moderate pressure and slow arm speed. Should only take maybe two to three passes to get this thing to where we want it. You see the mid grit comes in handy. I don't have to reach down and choke up on it like you would a baseball bat. So I'm going to work that to a light clear film like that. I'm going to grab my PFM towel. I'm going to give it a couple passes. Uh, finishing sealant is one of those formulas. Contrary to the creams, I, I typically like to wipe those off a panel at a time. This product's real user friendly. You can, you can let it sit for a little while. I find it to be best practice just to get it off the car and move on to the next panel. That way when you're done, and you're, you know, you're ready to roll, it's ready to roll too. So a couple pass wipe off. And again, this is gonna give us some nice durable protection. Incredible deep, dark, wet look. Again, it's probably a little difficult to see that pop on camera, but uh, it looks fantastic. So this is just, understand, I want to emphasize the, the flexibility with the best of show system. Uh, you're really looking at, it's hard to believe, but if you do the math between the G15, the G21, the five and a half inch, the six and a half inch pads, you add the option of the washer modification or not, the Interflex pad, you're looking at 384 
system options. So imagine that, you've got a toolbox full of every kind of scalpel you would ever need to have to address virtually any kind of paint finish on the market. I don't, I don't know, I've got a lot of products in my, in my cabinet at home, and uh, I gotta tell you, I don't have anything that has that kind of flexibility. So just uh, understand that this isn't a one, two, three step system, four step system, it is a, is it a toolbox from which you, to, you can reach in and grab and, and, and achieve perfection. You just have to kind of understand how much time do you have to accomplish the job? What is the paint characteristics? What are you trying to achieve? And then uh, pick the right, the right selection. So for more information, check out griosgaragecom backslash boss. Thank you.